Hi everyone, welcome into the UPMC Rooney Sports Complex for the AccuSure Playbook. We're gonna take a look at the Steeler defense and how much better it's getting from week one to week two and the expectation of week three against the Raiders. And we're gonna start with the very first play of the game. There's three safeties on the field to start the game. So most people want, why are three safeties on the field and why is Minka Fitzpatrick down here in the corner position? Well, there's a big reason for that, but first let's show where the safeties are. So Mink is down here as a corner. Here's your other two safeties in their traditional spots. Now the reason that they have three safeties on the field, because they saw the personnel of the Cleveland Browns come out on the field and they said, okay, they have three tight ends. They got one tight end here, one tight end right here in the slot, and another tight end wide. That's why Mika Fitzpatrick is wide. This indicates a lot of run. That's why they put three safeties on the field, thinking this might be a run. Well, they come out and empty. Well, once Chubb goes wide, now you know it's gonna be a pass or a run by the quarterback. This is a bad throw. Um, as Watson drops back, I mean, really the tight end's open, but bounces off his hands. You know, Minka has it, gets bounced around there, and then Highsmith, he catches it, takes it to the house. Beautiful way to start the game. T.J. Watt, let's focus right where he is. And if you notice that he's up here and then he walks down, he does that for a reason. He is challenging, and Holcomb actually is gonna come here to the wide. The combination of this little subtle shift really puts an enormous burden on your offensive line because they have to adjust to it in a second. But this is what ultimately has to happen. And keep in mind, they had a rookie here at right tackle. He has to adjust and take 55. And the guard has to adjust to take T.J. Watt. If you do these type of shifts and slides just before they snap the ball, which is exactly what happens, they do it and they time it perfectly. When you do that, this is often what happens. You have people that are unaccounted for, you get Holcomb in the backfield, and you completely ruin their running game. Now I don't expect two touchdowns against the Raiders. It would be nice, but this defense is playing as good as any in football is gonna help win games until this offense can get back on its feet and start matching what the defense is doing.